Mr. Cardona sets the policies for education in the United States. So having his, his ear is a very, very important step towards passing a federal Be Kind bill. Oh, hello. Oh. How are you? I'm doing well, how are you? I'm doing really well. My name is Jazz, this is Griffin. Nice to meet you both. Nice to meet you too. Nice to meet you as well. Thank you for taking the time today to meet with us. We really appreciate it. Happy to be with you, really. I just started law school, so I'm definitely a bit nervous to be having a conversation with someone this high up in the president's cabinet. So, uh, Secretary Cardona, in elementary school, I, um, I was bullied a lot. And it wasn't just students, it was teachers as well. Uh, I wasn't allowed to use the girls' restroom. I was designated to use the nurses' bathroom. I didn't want to use the nurses' bathroom because it was gross, it was out of the way. And one time I actually snuck into the girls' bathroom and I got caught, I got in trouble. and was told that I'm not allowed to use that restroom for whatever reason. Um, and then on a kid level, like I've been told that I have cooties, kids would scoot away from me at lunch. Um, they called me names. That's but tough. It is tough. And we just want everyone to live in a world where they can be free to be who they are. We, that shouldn't even be debatable in 2021. I know. What would you like to see for schools across the country? Or what advice would you give me or educators across the country as we reopen schools? I really, I mean, I think every school should have a program in place that teaches administrators and teachers on how to treat kids with respect. There needs to be better training, you know? Yeah, and that's, that's a constant effort that we're gonna do to make sure that our schools are welcoming environments. You know, at the Department of Education, I want you to know you have allies. So how do we promote kindness in schools though? You know, we gotta start from scratch, right? You, you can't wait for problems to happen to unlearn bad behavior and then teach good behavior. You gotta start with the foundation of acceptance, of, of learning about others. That has to be part of the DNA of the school. Be unapologetically you. Are there any um, like required resources or trainings for uh, teachers and administrators? The Office for Civil Rights um, has tremendous resources, webinars, different series that we offer. So I just want to know what advice do you have for people like us who just want to create real change? You know, continue to advocate, continue to have conversations with those who are policymakers, uh, with school leaders, keep doing what you're doing and know that I'm really proud of you and uh, students across the country should be proud of you too. Thank you. It was an honor to have this call with you. Thank you. Honor was mine. Take care. All right, Have bye. a good one.